hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel so i went for a one week vacation at camping paradis let me just take you guys with me so this is like the main uh master bedroom i'll put it that way because that's the bigger bed that is the window view and then when you look at the rooms these videos were made like on our exits once we have packed all our stuff and we're about to leave the place that's why i see everything is nicely arranged no blanket and stuff so from the master bedroom you can actually enter to the the bathroom or the shower room however you want to call it and then from the parlor or as well or the living room area you can also make your way into the shower or the bathroom it's very nice the place was amazing like i didn't ex you know like my expectation was not that you know like i was i got more than what i expected this is the other room it has two little beds and then it has its own little bit of uh wardrobe there for clothes and then just by leaving the second room with the two beds you have the toilet everything here was super clean because when i went you know if i go somewhere i'll make sure i take all my cleaning stuff like i like leaving a very good impression i like cleaning a lot so this is the microwave they have this little fridge and this is the kitchen area and it has loads of storage that is the ignore that stuff on the gun i was mopping once i was making this video that's why you see the the chairs were like on top of the table i was cleaning and making sure that everything is dried up before arranging and taking everything out at the bottom there they have the plates and the other cupboards there they have pots spoons everything nice all you have to do is just pack some few food items that you are going to cook whilst you are there but it was a really good place this is the outside view the compound was also amazing everything just makes sense it's like it's worth the money the atmosphere the compound the cleanliness everything was like top notch i really love this place and this is like the view like if you are coming down and take a picture this mini club here is a space for like kids where kids go there to do some animation or craft work or coloring and keep them busy they also have this feel for kids to also play basketball basketball volleyball the f or football if you want because the feel is like very spacious and then coming up you also find this amazing area with the flowers and then that is the pool the pool is really cool and for entering the pool as a guest you have this little bracelet that, that they will give to you they call this global wristbands and then after checking out i was like let me just sit down here whilst we are waiting for our taxi grab a croissant in a cafe and some milk inside of it i don't think ordinary cafe I don't like bitter stuff. So <laughs> our taxi was around the corner, load up, and then that is us saying goodbye to Camping Paradi. And then we get into our taxi. We took a taxi from Mural, where this camping is located, all the way to Paron Code. Then from Paron Code, we took a train to Clamor Ferron. Then from Clamor Ferron, then we come. You know, we take a, the bus that bring us home. Let me just allow you guys to listen to the amazing sound of nature. It's really amazing. Isn't that sound amazing? You know, when you're traveling and seeing the green, it's really beautiful. This is us arriving at Paronko. This is like the train station. When we're coming, like we use the same routes, but it was like the line that would just go into the town whilst for going back we have to like take these stairs because there was no like something like you know this escalator or an elevator so we have to take these stairs very high stairs plenty stairs with our baggages to come to this other side and wait for the train that is going to go to climb off everyone but i did not sweat i know i have to flex metal so we get into the train and this is the train that we are going you know we take to go to climb off everyone and it's been a while i've traveled on on a train so i was really surprised this thing was like super clean isn't if they are doing a, an excellent job with their trains of life so at clamor we got some kebabs and some drinks and then we take a bus that will take us to our home it was amazing and we had loads of fun as i've already seen the videos of the journey to and fro when we are when we went for summer uh, vacation at camping paradis so I'm going to give you guys just like a little bit of explanation and everything, how the old vacation went so you guys can know like what the everything was, you know, entitled about. So the trip starts off with like uh, from where we are, this monitor airphone is giving me headache. 
so from where we were to the place it's like about so Pawan Kud, uh, it's about three hours ten minutes and then from Pawan Kud to the camping site it's about 30 to 35 minutes depending on the, the taxi driver the road the traffic and everything so it was a long journey it's been a while i've sat on our transportation to go somewhere that far but it was nice it was okay it was summer and then we have to do something fun and just be outside of the house it's sometimes it's really exhausting to just be locked up one place all the time so like the 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 place is beautiful as you guys have seen the place is beautiful they are moving homes they are or you can say they are wood houses it's like amazing everything is like a cute that side i'll give them like a very good rating and then on arrival you will go to the reception where you will get your keys and then after getting your keys you will then have to go to you know they'll give you a direction like a little bit of a map a piece of paper somewhere you go to that place they say okay from here where you are at the reception you walk this lane and then go to that place which is a cool nice explanation let me just leave the monitor out because it's not like you don't want to work with me so i'm not gonna force myself on it okay so after i get into that place you now uh, um, on arrival the place is there you open up but when it comes to like the bedding i'm going to do another video like sit and talk and place maybe some videos of my camping of 2022 and then 2023 when i went to camping la fresa that one is in san didier this one is camping paradigm wall is why it's all around the region of Verona in france by the way so the when it comes to their bedding and towels they don't provide that for you you allow if you want some like it's like a rental system you have to rent the the beddings like the bed sheets the pillowcases and the towels if you want to use them if not you only need a bed and then blankets and pillows but no covering for those and then uh, for the uh, when it comes to the activities and the coordination i think it was not coordinated well because like for the pool it was okay the pool is like at the reception just the other end you will see the pool they okay the pool is over there and then all you need is a wristband they'll give you a wristband that has their name camping parody and then on checking out like when your stay is over when you're going back to your place you'll have to drop the wristbands like it's, they are not souvenirs when it comes to souvenir they'll only give you a little sticker that you can place on your car or whatever and then aside from the pool like the they have uh there was they have artists that normally go to their camping sites around france here yeah, that they will go and perform so during our stay there was a an artist that was coming like the i don't know one of the days then and then he went there like but the timing is like 9 p.m at night and if you have to take a walk or you do one or two things you're like kind of exhausted as a parent like you have a little child to look after there's no way you're going to take a child to a you know to that center to go listen to an artist for home at 9 p.m so the timing is like a little bit off and then what again like when it comes to the kids activity it's like it was like almost to the end of our stay that i discovered that they have a whole center a little building if you have seen the watch the videos earlier there's a little building where they have a center for kids that they have a, a time frame but at the reception this was not explained to us like i have i have no idea that they have a, a whole play center or a little bit of school like center for where you can take your kids to do some activities so it was not explained i discovered like last minute like on a friday then we were coming back on a saturday i discovered that like in the evening when i went to get some food from the restaurant and then i went i got there like the some fries and roasted chicken it was nice yeah but not like um you know as an african my taste well with a lot of seasoning it's not the same but it was good and then for the they have like a mascot also I was really looking forward to having a picture of my kids with that mascot that uh, the mascot's name is Pinky, but this was not coordinated again like i remember there were some guys walking past the place with a microphone but it was not audible like you could not hear properly what they were saying saying which message like they are going to, the mascot is going to be out as this this an amount of time take your kids to that place it was not audible maybe i was not listening very well 
so the place is nice the the town it's little and it's cute we take a walk we want to get some few things in the supermarket at uh, casino around the sun field there then just close to the casino they have la post the bank so it's easy for you to get money and stuff the town is beautiful the the camping site is beautiful the pool was amazing but i think when it comes to the activities it was not rightly coordinated but it's a place that it's beautiful will i want to go there again probably not but it's nice if you want to go there you have to know that okay first thing first get a car and then ask them at the check-in what are your activities planned up what time what day and for the kids is there a center because i did not ask all of those questions by the way so i was expecting that it's going to be detailed but i did not get too much of an information i was just giving like a some leaflet that were the with their partners like restaurants and stuff around the place but aside from that is it was uh so and so it was nice it was cool i'm not gonna lie it's like a little bit of like get out of the house some some kind of feeling but you are not really outside of the house because you'll be going there and cooking and stuff and all that stuff but um overall camping paradise it was nice and then my next video i'm going to talk about my camping in you know the past two years i went there twice camping camping in first i don't know how to pronounce this french names like i'm butchering their names but i'm sorry but i'm going to talk about them it was good like for them when it comes to the activities and the coordination on checking you know doing your checking so it was okay we have some music bands coming at this time to this time at this place they'll be here to perform it was nicely coordinated compared to camping paradise yeah, like when it comes to the artists and the kids activities and centers they did not nicely explain i guess because maybe they have lots of people that day that was checking in so they don't have the time to like detail explanation to everyone that was checking in so yeah that is my overall experience with camping parade in moral Isoir. i went there between the 17th of august to 21st of august like seven days thing and this was good and then coming back past two clamoferon i've lived in clamoferon before not too long not for a long period of time just some about a month or two but it was nice to like go there again and just see the place not much of a change is though but Overall, it was nice. If you have been to any camping center in France, you want to share your experience with me, let's talk in the comment section. You can follow my Instagram. All my socials are available in this channel. Just go to my about section. Just click the description of this video. You will see all the links. Then you can be able to communicate with me one on one. And don't forget, my Amazon shop front is also available now. You can see things that I recommend that are good quality. You can purchase within Amazon France. Bye.